My name is Gertrude, and I'm a developer advocate in the developer relations team at Click. In this video, I'm excited to give you an overview of our platform operations. These have been organized into a five-part tutorial series. The tutorials provide information on how you can leverage Click Cloud for your applications via embedded analytics, as well as covering important considerations for you to make for your deployments. Example use cases for deployments include a wealth management firm providing analytics embedded within their customer portal, allowing their customers, single user individuals, or multi user organizations to view up to date account performance. Or a software company producing fitness and wellness mobile software, where they can provide analytics to their end users, single user individuals in their mobile app. Or it can be a logistics firm leveraging click analytics for providing tracking analytics to their customers, single user individuals or multi-user organizations via embedding analytics in their public website. As you can tell from the examples, when you need to provide a solution to a single user or multi-users of distinct groups, organizations or companies, you should deploy a multi-tenant solution in Click Cloud. Each tenant is deployed to serve the distinct groups, be it several or tens of thousands. Topics and terminologies will be explored in detail as you progress through the tutorials. Let's get started. The first thing you will do is go to click.dev then navigate to Tutorials. Under Tutorials, you will find Platform Operations. I will start by going through the overview. And here you will find all the information that you need. You can see Deployment Use Cases, as well as Entitlement. At the bottom of each page of this tutorial series, you will see Next Steps. And this is very helpful when you want to know what to do next. I will not go through all tutorials, but you can have a look for yourself. But we'll start with create a tenant as an example for demonstration purposes. You will find that it has sections at the top and this will help you know what the tutorial is about. I will not scroll through, but I would like to show where to find code examples for you to use. It comes in three different languages and for demonstration purposes, I will use the command line example. You can go through the documentation and you will be able to create a tenant programmatically. Let's go back to click.dev. Here, I just want to highlight once again that this is a great place to start for all platform operations related information as it will show you what's suitable and what you can do if you're just getting started. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let us know what you think and follow us on Twitter for more updates. Bye for now.